and um, I'm just going to start your reading right now for Taurus. So the first card you have uh, for your past is the Seven of Swords, yeah. Um, yeah, this is obviously a, a very greedy man who's stealing things. So this is all sorts of nonsense, all sorts of selfishness, greed, all of that kind of thing in this card. And I think someone was greedy, um, but I think they were greedy with time. And I think they were probably greedy with your time. That's what I'm seeing. I'm getting this feeling that you probably really pushed around by someone. I think you might have wanted to help someone. And I think what happened was they were very selfish. I think they they just had unrealistic expectations of you. I think they wanted all your time. I'm seeing messages coming in at all times of the day and night, and maybe or crazy times. And you're just not available all the time. You just don't sit by your phone all day and all night. You sleep, you eat, you do other things, you work. So you just don't have the time to speak to this person all the time or message them all the time. And, you know, I think this was a little bit complicated because you did have this thing where, you know, you do like helping people. I think that's a big part of who you are. But um, they just really, really were greedy with their time. And um, I think this person might have been a little bit of a disturbed person. I, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be horrible about them, but I think they do. I am seeing a lot of moods swinging up and down. So it was like, it was, it was kind of like they thought you were wonderful. They thought you were fantastic. Oh, this person can help me. They're fantastic. And then when you suddenly don't jump and do whatever they want, then their mood goes down again and suddenly you're the most terrible person. So it was a little bit like that. That's what I'm seeing with them. So they might have said some things about you to other people. They might have done all sorts of things. But I think at this time you were still a little bit, um, you cared for them. You're still a bit worried about them. You're very annoyed by them and you're very kind of uh, put off by them. Um, certainly didn't want to keep on answering their messages because I think when you stopped, they kept on more and more, and that made you even less likely to want to speak to them. That's what I'm seeing. But um, you still had that piece of you that still really worried about them. And I can see why that was. You're, you know, you're a caring person, but um, I think this is telling you that, you know, you really, really should have some kind of barrier, because I think they're going to keep on taking and keep on taking if you let them. So I think also be a little ca bit careful around them because of these up and down moods. You kind of never quite know which direction they're going to go in. So yeah, this is a very, very difficult, stressful situation. That's what I'm seeing now. It's, it's very difficult. I'm not sure what the solution is. Um, but you do need to keep some barriers around you. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Um, so the next card you have for your past is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, yeah, so this is the same thing I'm seeing here with these moods swinging up and down. You know, I'm looking at this wheel and it's like the wheel's turning around and it goes up and they think you're wonderful and then it goes all the way down again and they think you're terrible. So up, down, that's what their moods are like. And it's very, very difficult to help someone like that because they just don't see things realistically. They're very kind of um, right and wrong in their thinking. And it's never that, you know, people are human and they all have good and bad in them, but they're kind of, this person's great, this person's terrible. And so that's how they saw things. And again, this is another message to you to make sure you have a barrier up against this person or some kind of border or barrier so that you're protecting yourself. Um, because this Sphinx is sitting at the top of this wheel with this sword guarding itself. So that's reminding you to keep on guarding yourself around this person because I think they are going to keep on trying to come back a bit. Um, and, you know, they're very kind of, they're very difficult to read. They're black and white, up, down, top, bottom, all sorts of things. And you just never know what to expect from this person. They're not a reasonable person. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is a bit of passion. So I think someone has some passion for you. I think this is very slow growing passion. I think this person 
might struggle a little bit with showing their feelings. It might be that. And that might be a bit of a frustration for you. But their passion is growing for you with this great big orange wheel because orange can represent, you know, passion and energy. So, um, yeah, this is going to keep on growing. So that's showing me a lot of positivity around that. A little bit like a snowball. You know, when you have a snowball in the snow and you roll it along and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's how their passion is for you. Now, they might not be showing all of that to you right now. I think it's slowly growing. And whether you see that or not, I don't know. But for them, it's big. For them, this is a big change. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But this is looking really nice, really positive with a love connection um, that you have. Um, so the last card you have you passed is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, again, here's all this emotion and here's this love connection again I'm seeing in this card. Now, again, they might struggle a bit with their emotions. And I think they were doing that definitely at the beginning when you first got together with them or you met them. I'm not sure what stage you are with them right now. Um, and it wasn't you. I just want you to know that if they struggled with their feelings, it wasn't because of you. I think they just do struggle generally st expressing their emotions. That's just what they're like. But, you know, this is really beautiful because I think what I'm seeing here is that not only is their passion growing, but they're softening toward you. They're changing toward you. And that's because of how their feelings are changing toward you in a positive way. But also they're changing because of your feelings toward them and the way you are. You're kind of softening them. You're not controlling them. You're not changing them on purpose, but they're softening. I mean, look at these pebbles around the feet of this queen. You know, pebbles are smooth, they're round, and they're like that because they've been moulded by the water. And obviously, water represents emotion. And so they become soft because of the water. And I think that's what's happening to them. And I think in time, they're going to soften even more. They're going to have more passion and they're going to open up more as time goes on. That's what I'm seeing. It's very, very beautiful um, what I'm seeing in that card. So the first card you have your present is the Four of Wands. Um, yeah, look at this. This is a message for you to remind you to be patient with this person who takes their time to show you how they feel. Be patient because this is what's around the corner, the Four of Wands. So, you know, I think you're outwardly patient. I don't think you show if you're feeling impatient, but you might be feeling that inside yourself. So if this is how you're feeling, um, everything's going in the right direction. The wheel's turning in the right direction. And this is where it's heading, to the Four of Wands. So um, just know that this is where you're heading. So if you ever feel impatient, uh, don't be because, you know, this is happening at the right time and it's all going to happen at a time that's comfortable for them, you know, and for you as well. So, you know, just, just take your time. Don't worry about this. This is all happening. So, yeah, the next card you have for your presence, the Two of Cups. So, yeah, here we are again. Uh, you're connecting, you're slowly connecting very deeply. Uh, and the longer it takes, you know, the more time it takes, uh, the stronger it'll be. And that's, and that's what I'm seeing here. I'm also seeing that they might be trying to heal from another situation as well, um, because the caduceus in the middle of this card, you know, in between these cups can sometimes mean healing. So I don't think they're getting over someone. I don't think it's healing emotionally. I think they're just um, trying to move on from someone in a practical way. And I think someone else is kind of dragging this on a little bit. It's probably an ex. It might be um, a divorce or something like that. It might not be. But I think someone's dragging something on and kind of stopping something or preventing something or kind of causing a few problems for this person. So this is what they have to try to kind of move on from. I think they have healed from this person. I don't think you have to worry. They're not going to go back. They don't have any feelings for them. But I think it's this ex or whoever this is that's kind of trying to kind of stir up a little bit of trouble with them. And 
I think this is going to break eventually. I don't think this is going to last forever. So you don't have to worry about that. But they have that going on in their head as well. So that might be why, another reason why, you know, they're taking this slowly. You know, they have all of this kind of mess that's happened in the past, you know, in their mind as well. So there's that as well. But I mean, I do think you are going to work through all of these things uh, because you have the four of wands. So just remember that. So the last card you have your presence, the Five of Wands. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a few things here. I think this is about this person in the Seven of Swords, this kind of unpredictable person who's a bit greedy with your time. Um, just be a little bit careful. I think you might have to look at your security settings online and all of that. I am seeing this person might try to do a few kind of trolling tricks or something like that. They might try to do something or say something about you online. So you might have to do something like, you know, make sure your privacy settings are on. You might have to block this person even if it comes to that. Um, I think they are going to do some kind of messy trolling. This is play fighting in this card. It's not very serious. So I don't think they're going to do anything very, very terrible to you. But I think this is the time where you're going to finally say, look, enough of this person. I think I'm going to have to block them or I think I'm just going to have to move on. I can't deal with this anymore. This is just too much. That's what I'm seeing happening in that card with you. So I think this is the time that's going to happen. Um, so the first card you have for your future is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so yeah, I think... I think this person, this difficult person, I think they've behaved like this before. They've come backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I think they've come backwards and forwards to you. I think they've also come backwards and forwards to other people, uh, you know, trying to get their time, trying to get them to listen. And then when other people advise them, they don't want to get listen, they get angry or they become too obsessive and, and it's all very, very difficult. So I think they have lost a lot of other people and I think that's very sad. And maybe that was why it took you a long time to, you know, you still had this soft spot for them, you still wanted to help them. Um, but, you know, I think they do get very angry. I think they do blame a lot of people for things they've done themselves and they can't really see their part in whatever they've done. It's very hard for this person. They're a very mixed up person. And I think eventually they will come to see this, but um, I think it's going to take a long, long, long time. I think they have a long road ahead of them and I am seeing a few more ups and downs and problems that they're going to go through um, as well. I think they're probably going to have to, or not have to, but they are probably going to go through some other people as well. Um, so, you know, I think people can tell them, they can try to teach them, they can try to show them, but I think they're going to have to learn all of this themselves. That's what I'm seeing. It's very sad, but, um, you know, you have tried. Just know that you've tried. You have really tried with them. Um, yeah, so the next card you have, your future's the Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, again, this is the same thing again. Try not to worry about this person if you are, um, because they do have people who can help them. They do, I think. Um, I think they have family who can help them, definitely. I am seeing people who actually do love them. They love them unconditionally. Um, they probably don't see that now because I think they're probably very angry. I think they're kind of angry with the whole world, actually, at this time. But um, they do have people to help them. They really do. And also it's up to them. It really is up to them to see that. And I do think these family members are going to eventually, um, you know, take them under their wing and help them and try to, uh, you know, to help them out because they do love them unconditionally. Um, so I think eventually they will choose this. I'm just looking at the boy on this card and he's looking up to the light of the window and the woman's looking down at the snow. And I think this person is going to be a little bit more like the boy and they are going to look up and see where they can be helped but I again I am seeing a lot of fallouts with them and other people coming up in the future for them as well so if they do improve things if they do try to find this help um, it won't happen for a while I think they're going to have to go through a few things first 
um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing, sadly. Um, yeah, so the last card you have your futures, the uh, Hierophant. So, yeah, I think a lot of people see you as some t kind of teacher or mentor or helper. And again, I think that's why this person probably latched onto you. They probably saw you as a kind person, and you are, and someone who can help and teach and all of that. I don't know if they have some connection with your work. I don't know or with your family. But again, this is someone who you had to see all the time. Um, so I think this might be a little bit of a warning to you, or maybe not a warning, but kind of a message to you. Because I think you do sometimes try to blend work with outside of work. Sometimes you take work home, you know, and sometimes you're friends with people at work. Sometimes you, you know, talk a lot uh, to work people outside of work and all of that. And there's nothing wrong with all of that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. But I think when it comes to some of these difficult people, especially like this person, that's where you got caught out a bit because you kind of expected them to be like a lot of other reasonable, uh, reasonable people you so reasonable people you've dealt with, and not everyone's like that. And you need to have some kind of barrier up, or some kind of warning system, or something. I don't know something where you can kind of see the person coming, and you kind of have a little, almost like a probation period. Like you get to know someone, they become your friend. And you kind of have a little barrier, you get to know them, and then you let them in. You might have to have something like that happening uh, to stop this from happening in the future. Because I am seeing um, this might happen again, because you are a natural helper, you are a natural teacher. And uh, I don't know whether you do that in your job, but I think this person latched on to that. So that's just something for you to think about, I don't know. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, so Taurus, um, I hope this resonated. General readings uh, obviously can't always resonate with every single person. But again, if you liked this reading, uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.